why does Instagram censor my body and not thin bodies? Ooh, I feel that. Sorry, I felt that so hard. Instagram is facing growing criticism from content creators who say the app's algorithms are biased and allege it doesn't treat everyone the same. The latest concerns come from a Toronto woman who says the social media company removed her page without warning and for no reason. My account is completely gone. I have tried to appeal. Sarah Taylor says Instagram removed her account, accusing her of violating community guidelines, a shocking accusation for the soon-to-be mom. I've never had a content violation, and all I did was empower and uplift women. Two weeks later, Taylor, who is an advocate for plus-size women, still doesn't have any answers, but she fears she may have been targeted by the app's algorithm, a set of computerized rules and instructions. Stop filtering different groups if they aren't the typical beauty standard. Kayla Logan, another content creator, has posted artistic photos in lingerie, posing next to iconic places around the world. She says similar to others, except her content has been removed. There is a bot in the algorithm and it measures the amount of clothing to skin ratio. And if there's anything above 60%, it is considered sexually explicit. The body positive content creator says this is just one of the practices that treats some communities unfairly, a known issue that continues to happen. If you are fat and you are in a bathing suit compared to your thin counterpart, well, that's going to be sexually explicit. So it is inherently fat phobic and discriminatory towards fat people. The social media company says actions taken on the app have to do with the type of content posted, not who the person is. And last June, the head of Instagram made a post standing in solidarity with the black community, saying in part that the company is focused on doing a better job at serving underrepresented groups and particularly addressing algorithmic bias. Automated decision making technology is important because it speeds up human decision making processes and allows decisions to be made at a significant scale. Yuan Stevens, an expert in the field, says one of the issues is that algorithms are seen as math-based, which is false. She says technology can be inaccurate and there are biases built into algorithms based on the data set used. Algorithms don't make neutral decisions. They are made with the biases of their creators. I'm not surprised that plus size models could be targeted um, on social media apps like so, um, Instagram. Empowering others is central for both Sarah and Kayla, who depend on Instagram for their livelihood. Sarah had to shut down her fitness studio during the pandemic, moving her business online. It wasn't just a page, it was a community. Now we're still waiting to hear from Instagram why it exactly removed Sarah's account in the first place. We'll continue updating this story on our website, citynews.ca. That's also where you can learn more about the story, including why Stephen says Canada needs to update its privacy laws. In Toronto, I'm Faiza Amin for City News.